Check the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children's website, and right now, there are 32 families still searching for their missing children. One group is trying to change that this weekend. Operation Kids Safe is holding an event in Invergrove Heights. That's where we find Allie Lucia this morning. Allie, this is something that parents are really going to want to check out. It certainly is, Kim, and this event is very easy for families to come on in. It's called Operation Kids Safe, and this is the 15th year, but this is the first year that Hyundai here in Invergrove Heights is teaming up with the nonprofit. So Brady was kind enough to take this digital photo and get fingerprinted earlier this morning, and that's just kind of how it work, works. But Mitch Green is with me this morning. He is the GM of Hyundai here, and as you can see, we've got the kids here. Ayana is getting fingerprinted right now, and then Malik is patiently waiting in line. Can you wave to everyone, Malik? Can you wave? Oh, well, you're just yeah. going to smile instead. Well, that's just okay with us. Mitch, good morning, and thanks for joining us Good today. morning. Thank you for having us. So Ashley is walking Ayana through this, but this is something that's really easy, and Operation Kids Safe uh, teamed up with FBI consultants and law enforcement consultants to do this. So how exactly does it work? Well, it's really easy. All you need to do is take less than five minutes. Just come on in, and we will take a picture here, and then Ashley will take fingerprints, and then we'll give you a bio, and it will have your picture on here with fingerprints, and if anything ever happens uh, to your child, you just hand it to the law enforcement, and then they have fingerprints, everything right on file for you. And this is something that's super easy to do, but also it's something that is free for yes, family. Yes, it's free for the family, and also... <laughs> We give you a little uh, takeaway. Yeah. It's uh, little things that what you can do at home if you're all alone. It's uh, if you're lost. There's certain things that safety tips for parents mm -hmm. and kids, and even for elderly people. Yes, this is yes. something that isn't just for kids. It's also maybe if your uh, parent has dementia, Alzheimer's, they can come in and you can get fingerprinted just because a lot of times, uh, whether it's an Amber yes. Alert for a child or a missing elderly person, this is a way for them to hand over a sheet to law enforcement. Yes, and it's real easy. And, and again, we don't keep any data. It's all data free. So it, just come in, take your picture, get your fingerprints, and then come and visit us. And as you can see, Malik is doing it right now and doing a pretty good job. Not too bad. Uh, doing he, a good job. <laughs> he's got his pointer finger getting uh, fingerprinted this morning. So I, I do want to reiterate that this is something that you guys do not keep this da data here at your facility. This is something you just kind of hand over we to hand your family. It, yes, we do hand it over, and as you'll notice, it's blank data. So then if you choose to, you put your name, phone numbers, everything in there for your children to hang, in, hand, hand it right over to the law enforcement. Yes. Okay. Well, Mitch, thanks for joining us Thank you morning. for having us. Thank you so and much. And, guys, good work today. Great job, Ayana Say and goodbye. Malik and Brady. Thank you so much Bye. for getting up early with us. So Jason and Kim, obviously a very important topic, and this event is going on tomorrow from 10 to 4 right here at Hyundai in Invergrove Heights. Very easy for families to come on in, and more importantly, just a, a way to spark conversation with your family and your kids about what you can do and just even about not talking to strangers. Yeah, you can definitely never have too many of those conversations. Allie, thank you for showing us that this morning.